And because I got to make the call on radio, and I got to go through the stands, and I got to go up there to make that call, I got to pick New England because I'm home here. That's just the way it is. You just backed off your whole season long pick. Fine. I'll tell you what. I had Indianapolis since week one to go all the way to the Super Bowl and win it. And I see no reason why not to stay with them. The great road team, I don't care if it's inside or outside, Indianapolis is going to Houston. Well, when I look at this game, I look at Indianapolis hasn't faced the physical corners that New England has, and they're going to try to dis disrupt that uh, the wide receiver in Indianapolis at the line of scrimmage. And what I, what I would say to you right there is New England's going to run the ball. If they're able to run the ball, keep Peyton Manning off the field, New England will win the game. And I'm picking New England. You're taking New England. All right, I'm not there alone. Guys, we'll pick the NFC game at halftime, but a final thought on what you see here today. Well, when I think about this game, I look at the pressure on the quarterbacks. Peyton Manning has a lot of pressure on him. You know why? Because he hasn't won a Super Bowl yet. He's one game away from the big game. Tom Brady could say, hey, I got a ring already, and there's a little less pressure, and he's playing at home. Both teams versus the elements. That's going to be a determining factor. Both kickers, Ben and Terry, Ben and Jack. It's going to come down to these guys. These are the playmakers today. I still say this. I'm telling you, Ken Walter, the punter for New England, has been suspect all season long, ranked 31st, and it's about field position. And if he has a bad game, then you're going to have your Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl. I can't wait today. to see what Indianapolis does with its first possession. Interceptions that today. is going to be so critical, setting the pace for this game here today, the way they have been unstoppable in the first two playoff games. It is time for our national anthem. And for that, we're going to send it over to our public address announcer, John Rook. And now, ladies and gentlemen, performing today's national anthem, Grammy and her records recording star, Leanne Rhymes. Oh, so can you see? What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streamed. scene this is going to be today the AFC championship game framed against a snow-covered sky in New England the Colts and the Patriots we'll see you back here at halftime and right now to call the action as the Colts take on the Patriots let's send it upstairs to Greg Gumbel and Phil Sims gentlemen with a trip to Houston in Super Bowl 38 on the line, welcome to Gillette Stadium, the stage for today's AFC Championship game, the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome once again, Greg Gumbel, along with Phil Sims. Well, you know the story. These two teams are playing so well coming in here today, but it's such a tall order for the Colts because the Patriots are unbeaten in nine outings here at home. The GM hot buttons of this game, Phil. Well, here are the big points of this game today, Greg. For the Indianapolis Colts, can they keep Peyton Manning clean? Keep that New England defense from hitting, hitting this ground and getting that uniform dirty. That's a big key. For the New England Patriots, 
don't overlook their offense. So much is said about their defense. This offensive team thinks they could come out, move the football against Indianapolis defense, and score a lot of points. Well, as we said, both these teams are playing well, but only one gets to play in February. A trip to Super Bowl 38 goes to the winner. We're back after this word from your local station. Relive the funniest, the strangest, and the most poignant memories of more than 30 years of 60 Minutes on a one-hour anniversary encore tonight. It's the one you've waited for. Survivor All-Stars premieres after the Super Bowl on CBS. Get up! Get up! Good night, baby. <sighs> Good night, honey. Sweetie, you want me to be happy, right? Of course I do. You know I love your burgers, but just for a change, could you make a chicken monster taco for me, please? You know, like your beef monster taco, but made with delicious chicken instead? Consider it done. Honey, you want me to be happy, right? Introducing the Motorola V600. I'm in. Great. With Bluetooth wireless headset. It has a high-resolution integrated camera, so you can take photos and send them with perfect clarity. Got it. The Motorola V600. For crisp, clear pictures you can take, send, and of course, delete. To register, go to Motorola.com slash offers. Wow digital widescreen high-definition TVs with digital auto convergence and HD component video inputs, plus high-speed velocity scan modulation. Don't touch. Hey, guys, check out the game in high def. Sweet. Now pay no interest for two years or get 10% off all TVs $2.99 and up. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Best Buy. Welcome to the following presentation of the National Football League on CBS Sports, home of Super Bowl 38. Gillette Stadium is alive and kicking for today's AFC Championship between Indianapolis and New England. The Colts are great road warriors at 8-1. and The Patriots perfect at home at 9-0. and But all that matters is what happens here today. One of these teams is 60 minutes from the Super Bowl. CBS Sports and Sony bring you this year's AFC playoffs and Super Bowl 38 in high definition. Stunning visual clarity and surround sound. If you don't have it, you'll have to check it out for a TV experience like no other. Sit back and enjoy today's game in HDTV.
Pity the human male. Sex, 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 sex. Love. Sex. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love. Sex. But every once in a magical while... Rolling Rock? Love one. There's something they can both understand. And the chain of life marches gloriously on. Rolling Rock beer. Grab a rock. What a difference a week makes. It is 27 degrees warmer today than it was a week ago the last time the Patriots took the field. The snow is in the forecast. It is snowing now. Our sidelines are manned by Bonnie Bernstein and Armin Kate. And let's go down to Bonnie. Well, Greg, Tony Dungy's Colts rallied from 21 down in week 13, the loss of the Patriots. Two or three things that need to be different this time around. Well, I think we have to play better on third down. I think we've got to tackle their short passing game a little bit better, and we've got to handle their return men. Coach, thank you. Armin? Bill, the big question is, is how do you slow down or at least disrupt this high-powered Colts offense? Well, uh, there's no magic wand, Armin. We're going to have to play good team defense. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job disguising. We're going to have to do a good job of tackling. All right, Coach. Greg. Armin, thank you. Indeed, the magic wand has been wielded by Peyton Manning this postseason. But it's the Patriots who are going to get their hands on the ball first. They have won the toss. They've elected to receive. Phil, what do you think the effect, if any, is of the snow that is falling now and promises to continue? Yeah, I think, Greg, for both football teams and the quarterbacks, these are almost ideal conditions for this time of the year. So it should not affect the ball handling by the quarterbacks or the receivers. As you saw, 31 degrees, and we're underway. Vanderjack's kick to the near side. This is Kevin Falk, or Patrick Pass, rather, from the 19, and out to about the 35-yard line. And here is Tom Brady. You've heard the numbers. Nine home games this season. He is yet to throw an interception at Gillette Stadium. On the offensive line, Damian Woody gone with a knee injury. Third-year lineman Russ Holkstein will fill the gap at left guard. Brady with plenty of receivers to choose from. David Givens caught six touchdown passes during the season. He leads the Patriots in that department. There is Charlie Weiss, the offensive coordinator for the New England Patriots, and what a job he has done. Brady gives to Antoine Smith straight ahead, busts the tackle across the 40 and out to the 44-yard line where Donald Strickland makes the stop. The Colt defense, they get pressure on the quarterback primarily from Pro Bowl defensive end Dwight Freeney, 11 sacks on the year. Marcus Washington also pressures. He's joined at linebacker by Rob Morris and David Thornton. And David Macklin with two postseason picks starts at one corner. Rookie Donald Strickland starts for injured Dries Bashir at safety. And there is defensive coordinator Ron Meeks. Nine-yard pickup for Smith, and it's second and one. Brady will throw. Almost intercepted, getting over to get a hand on it was Mike Doss. Really good situation to try to get a big play down the field. Second play of the game, second and in less than a yard. Tom Brady, the receiver, is open. It comes out of his hand a little high, and he's fortunate it is not intercepted. The play action fake freezes the defense. Christian Fourier gets behind the linebackers. The throw, being careful. Your first pass of the game, you're careful, throws it a little high. On third down, up to the 45 is Larry Centers, and this is going to be close to the first down, right at the marker. Yeah, it looks a little short. Definitely fourth down. Bill Belichick. And, I, you know, I'm sitting here waiting. They might go for it, and it looks like they're going to. So Bill Belichick confident that he can run the football on this coach play defense with it, play with it. fourth and one or do you try to draw him off sides Brady shifts to the shotgun and he takes it straight ahead and has the first down isn't it interesting, we were talking with Bob Kraft at practice, the owner of the Patriots on Friday, and he's such a proponent of doing, you know, whatever your coach does, make sure that that's what you want to do, whether it's regular season or postseason. That's right. If you are an aggressive coach when it comes to decision-making during the regular season, he says don't change just because it's a playoffs. Now a different set by this New England offense. Five wide receivers, and every one of them is a wide receiver, not some back split outside. Line of scrimmage. Their own 46. Right. 
Brady. Quick pop over the middle, and that's complete to David Gibbons. Forward progress will be just across midfield to the Indianapolis 49. Well, you heard Tony Dungy talk about it when he was talking to Bonnie Bernstein. The short pass is what we must do is come up and tackle the receivers, not give them extra yards. Pick up a five on the play, and it's second and five, and Brady again from the shotgun. Gets rid of it, and there is that complete and then incomplete as the hit was made on Troy Brown by Walt Harris. Well, one of the reasons why you get in a situation like this, is this if you're the New England Patriots, this Colts defense, Tom Brady said it might be the simplest one in the National Football League. They know exactly what the coverage is going to be, and some of the passes you hope to hit up the field are seen passes just like that one to Troy Brown. Kevin Falk into the backfield. The Patriots, their last four games, have scored an opening drive touchdown. They're at the Colt 49. Brady, running out of time, throws far side, and that's complete to Dion Branch, and that'll be a first down. Let's go back to Tony Dungy again. We've got to get off the field on third down. Well, the one thing that hurt this Colts team when they played early in the year, they got Tom Brady in this New England offense in a lot of third and long situations, but they gave the quarterback way too much time. Look at all the time, makes a little move. The defense breaks down. That's why the wide receiver is wide open. So they move to the Colt 35. Probably going to be a draw play. They want to run draws against a defense that likes to rush up the field. There it is. Smith breaks to the outside and is dragged down at the 31. And, and you know, it's not, I know they want to run draw plays. They did it the last time they played. Indianapolis, what they like to do, you saw it there. The defensive tackles like to switch positions. They move around. The defensive ends, they want to run to the quarterback. So it creates large gaps up in that line of scrimmage and draw plays are the easiest way to run the football for the New England Patriots. Two tight ends now. And Antoine Smith, the lone back behind Brady. Brady sets, throws, hits inside the 25 to about the 22 yard line is David Gibbons. That's another first down. Now, Greg, you were, we were at the meetings and you hear this every week. We get to talk to quite a few players, and we talk to Tom Brady, and Tom Brady is not an outspoken player, doesn't brag, and I said, well, what do you think? He goes, Phil, I think we can run it some if we want with draw plays, that kind of stuff. We can throw it. My wide receivers, they could have big days if we just come out and are aggressive and throw the football. 300 passes in a row at home without an interception. And a quick timeout is called by the Colts. They burn a timeout to stop the clock with 10 and a half to play. Scoreless first quarter so far. Searching other websites for low fares? Better get comfortable. Just go to Southwest.com for Southwest Airlines $39 to $99 internet specials when you purchase by January 19th. You are now free to move about the country. This is something that this country is ready for. The Soviets win. My goal is to beat them. I want you to be a hockey player! Think, think that'll get them going? Oh, yeah. Is your time. You've got 10 seconds. The countdown going on right now. Five seconds left in the game. Don't leave it. Don't. Yes. Miracle. Rated PG. Starts February 6th. Are those tofu dogs done yet? Is uh, Gray done? Is it done? Man, I hope not. 
Diet doesn't have to taste like diet. With Diet Dr. Pepper, you sacrifice nothing. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. Charles? Scott? It's kind of funny to look at something, a graphic like this and realize it was 2002 when Tom Brady threw his last interception. That doesn't even sound real since we're in 2004. But you look at this. Bill Belichick going for it on fourth down. Didn't want to give Indianapolis any momentum. He tried to take it right from the start. And so far, it's worked well for his football team. First down now, and Brady to throw. Looks to his left. Finds his receiver inside the 20 is David Givens and Givens is bumped out of bounds short of the 15 yard line and, and I think the crowd was a little a little caught off guard by this they they weren't that excited that the offense was spreading it out and going almost in a no huddle speed up the pace of the game but Greg it's funny we talked to Tony Dungy last night and what was the first thing he said I said what do you think about New England's offense he goes oh they're going to spread it out and throw all those short passes I said, do you think so, Coach? Oh, yeah, right from the start. That's what they're going to do. We expect it. And as usual, the coaches are right. 11th play of this drive. Brady making some adjustments at the line. And it gives to Smith. He was, he was doing a paid manning there. See, a lot of times quarterbacks go up there and they point and this and that. And it's all just nothing. Because it's going to be a running play. But what's he trying to do? He's trying to get the defensive linemen and linebackers think that they're pointing out who to block on a passing situation. Tom Brady's going to point. Oh, yeah, let's block him in case he blitzes. Look at this. He's telling the wide receivers, too, and it's just all acting. It amuses the quarterback. You think you're doing something really good in a situation like that. New England's red zone offense. From the shotgun. Protection. Steps up, throws, complete to branch inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, New England. Not much is said about this New England offensive line. We don't give them enough credit. They have no extra help in the backfield to help in case a defensive lineman gets in there. And that's why Deion Branch is able to get open. He changes his route. Tom Brady has a little movement. Another first down completion. They have lost a pro bowler, Damian Woody, to a knee injury. Number 71, Russ Hochstein, has stepped in. So far, the line hasn't missed a beat. Too tight end. Quick pop. Touchdown. Changed it up. The Colts defense bites for it. Easy touchdown pass for Tom Brady. Gibbons, four catches for 26 yards on the drive. Vinatieri to add the extra point. And it's good. Eight minutes, 16 seconds to play in the first quarter. The fourth down attempt pays off for Belichick, Brady, and the Patriots, who lead 7-0. Epson T001, Canon BC31E. Shopping for ink and toner in most stores is hit or miss. HP C9720. Come on, come on. A. 
At Staples, we stock a huge selection of cartridges, so we guarantee we'll have the one you need. Online or in-store, promise. HP 45. Bingo. Your ink and toner in stock. Staples, that was easy. CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Friendly nonstop service all across the country. Southwest Airlines, a symbol of freedom. Diet Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Diet Dr. Pepper does taste more like regular Dr. Pepper. And by the 265 horsepower 7 passenger Acura MDX. Back in Gillette Stadium where Brady and the Patriots have done just what they wanted to do. The opening drive, touchdown, 13 plays, 65 yards. And now Vinatieri will kick the deep man for Indianapolis, number 33, Dominique Rhodes. This will be Rhodes from the 13. Hit at the 25 and forward to about the 27-yard line. Let's go back to the touchdown. Yeah, let's look at it real quick. Tom Brady, they get exactly what they want. Single coverage on the outside. David Macklin has no help from anybody else, so he wants to be aggressive. New England runs a lot of those quick screens. He goes up to get it. He's fooled, and David Gibbons. David Gibbons, a little of that red dye from the field on the back of his jersey. Looks like war paint. From the 27-yard line, Peyton Manning. Completing about 79% of his passes in the postseason. we get movement up front let's see who gets the blame our referee today is Walt Coleman no penalties by this offense in the playoffs well, start. well we have one now we have one now first time the Colt offense has been flagged in this, their third postseason game this year. Man, throwing far side, caught. This is Pollard. Pollard across midfield and out of bounds. Big game by the Colts, first down. The New England Patriots come on a blitz, so Marcus Pollard gets single coverage down the field against Eugene Wilson. And when you run in with the receiver down the field, it's so tough for the defensive back to look back. He never does. Peyton Manning knew it. He threw it behind Marcus Pollard, and they get a big game. Pollard, five catches this postseason, three of them with more than 20 yards. That was a 32-yard pickup. down and Edger and James breaks through and inside the 35 yard line of the New England Patriots. Rodney Harrison with the stop and now let's check the penalty. Offsides. Offside 55 defense. He leaves the climb. Play results in a first down. Well another thing that you can bet Tony Dungy wants is to get Edger and James started well today. Just like that, the Colts are at the New England 34. Little new formation out here to the right for Peyton Manning. They like to go deep when they see this formation. Manning stepping up, throwing inside and dropped by number 83, Brandon Stokely. 
It'll be second and ten. Peyton Manning's numbers, well, eight touchdowns, no interceptions. Number 63, Jeff Saturday's the center. He gets help, but much of the day he'll be dealing with Big Ted Washington on the line. Edron James, the Colts' all-time leading rusher, 138 total yards in the first meeting with the Patriots. Second and ten. Once again, the Colts stack the receivers on the near side of the field. James, left side to about the 25-yard line and close to another first down. A quick check of the New England defense right in the middle of the defensive line. Big Ted Washington, 6'5", 365 pounds. The linebackers, number 50, Mike Vrabel, has had a great season. The Pat Sack leader with nine and a half. And what a free agent acquisition Rodney Harrison has been at safety for New England. There is Romeo Cornell, the defensive coordinator for these Patriots. 25-yard line. Third and short, there's Tom Moore calling the signals offensively for Indianapolis. Straight ahead, inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Edger and James has enough for a first down. Now, Greg, we had a lot of time to watch the game. These two teams played back in November. And when you watch it, there is no question and no doubt New England physically beat up this Indianapolis Colts football team even though they scored 34 points the Colts have their offensive line healthy now they're different than they were back in November they're counting on that to be the difference to give Peyton Manning some extra time to throw the football down the field Stokely in the slot on the left side time winding down on Manning he gets the snap away turns and looks the other way and now he's on the move and throws it away. Seymour and McGinnis pressuring Manning to get rid of the ball. That time Peyton Manning guessed wrong. He was expecting an all-out blitz. They had a play on to take advantage of it. New England fooled him and you don't fool him too often but New England so good at disguising moving around you always can't guess right against this defense. It was interesting listening to Peyton last night. He says, I have Tom Moore tell me every three plays. Watch the corner blitz. Yeah. Watch the corner blitz. Bill Belichick invented the corner blitz from way outside to the backside of quarterbacks, which is one of the toughest to read. James dances through a tackle. 20, 15, diving to about the 11-yard line. Roman Pfeiffer tripped him up. They run the draw play. New England thinking it's going to be a pass. They're going to blitz. Get up the field. Roman Pfeiffer outside. Seymour can't make the tackle. And just like New England's offense did, you come up the field, they go inside, they pick up a first down with the run. So the opening drive, touchdown by the Patriots, and the Colts are trying to answer right back. Dominique Rhodes in the backfield. Rhodes gets the handoff and goes nowhere. Richard Seymour, the first to hit him, on his way to his second Pro Bowl. Well, the defensive line, I talked about it. They definitely won the battle against this Colts offensive line. Peyton Manning, Greg, we talked to him last night. Oh, he was confident confident that they're better than they were back in November and confident that he knows he has a good read of this New England defense and confident he can make those plays down the field. Ninth play of the drive. Manning waits, waits, throws crossing pattern and that's complete to number 87 Reggie Wayne. Forward progress will be marked at about the five. Well, that was a good shot of that New England defense. You talked about some of it, Greg, what they want to do. Everybody we talked to in New England, they had one word that came out of their mouth first. Physical. They want to hit whoever's carrying the football, punish them to the ground. They want to get to Peyton Manning and hit him some. And they even said, if they block us, make sure you beat up the guy that's blocking you. In the postseason, Peyton Manning is 13 out of 13 throwing on third down. He looks at a third and three. Running out of time, throws towards the end zone, intercepted. Picked off by Rodney Harrison.
Marcus Pollard is uncovered into the end zone. Peyton Manning does not see Rodney Harrison come from the other side to make the interception. sedan has been before the all-new 270 horsepower acura tl a higher form of performance what can a toy store teach us about disciplined investing not everything that catches your eye is worth buying at wachovia securities we learn from the world around us to help you find investments that are right for you. Together, we can achieve uncommon results. Wachovia Securities. One day, a child was sent into the world. A special child. A child who had a gift. He was open. The open child. He helped people. Rich and poor. Big and small. He connected us all together. And suddenly, he wasn't a child anymore. The greatest moves. The greatest hits. The greatest play on CBS. The Super Bowl, Sunday, February 1st. And the Grammys Live, Sunday, February 8th. Both on one great network, CBS, where the greatest come to play. You don't just watch the action from the sidelines. Play fantasy sports with games for every level of player on CBS Sportsline. Step up to the plate and join a league or start your own today. Click on fantasy at cbssportsline.com. Rodney Harrison's second interception in two weeks. And Antoine Smith, left side, out to the 25-yard line. Raheem Brock with the stop. Well, let's go back to the interception, Greg. The Patriots make an error. They do not cover Marcus Pollard as he goes up the field. Paid Manning a little late in seeing him, throws it to the inside. Rodney Harrison was all the way across the field. He just started drifting when he read Paid Manning's eyes, and he got, in, got right in the throwing lane and makes the interception. Now second and five for Brady in the pass. Antoine Smith. And Monte Rager making the stop. You know, Tony Dungy expected to see a little more of Antoine Smith, who didn't play in the first meeting at the RCA Dome, the artificial turf. Bill Belichick feels he can make more use of him here. Well, it, because this is not a fast track by no means, Greg. And when you watch this New England team, everybody says, well, why don't you run it against the Colts? Because they're not very good at stopping it. Well, remember, New England's not very good at running the football. That's why they just can't come out here and make a living getting first downs running it. Could be at a third and three now. Brady, quick pass. That's complete. Out to the 35-yard line. Troy Brown, first down. And when you talk about this New England offense, they are about doing this. It's third and short. They throw a short pass. They get a few yards on a run. And then it's up to Tom Brady and the receivers to make the tough catches for tough yards to get those first downs. Well, Tony Dungy, it's going to be a mantra all day long. He wanted to get off the field on third down. The Patriots have converted three third downs and a fourth down already in this game. Brady throwing it far side. 40 to the 41 is David Gibbons. Tom Brady, except for that first pass he threw the game where he was too careful, he is smart. Just like that pass, he knows the receivers are going to be open. He's thrown in positions where they're going to make the catch, and a lot of times they have to catch it and go to the ground. And that, that last pass was a good example of it. Coming up on one minute to play in the fourth quarter. One minute in the first quarter. And a second and four. Here comes Smith. Across the 45. Out to midfield and a first down for New England.
Play calling, success on offense is all about timing. Keep the other group off guard. Joe Andrews, he pulls, gets a terrific block, opens up a big hole. Watch him hit. Rob Morris drives him out of the screen. And Antoine Smith, he is affectionately known as, Greg, as a mutter, a tough guy. He's a very good three- and four-yard runner. He also would love to go home to Houston to play two weeks from now. Brady throwing up the seed, tipped incomplete. Pass intended for Deion Branch. It'll be second and ten. Got away from Tom Brady, and the good thing is, is that Deion Branch stuck his hand up and knocks it away from the defenders. You can tell the wobble on the football. It slips out of his hand just a little. It is snowing. The ground is wet. That's going to happen a few times today. Boy, Walt Harris, the cornerback, number 21, looked like he was taking a bead on the overthrow, and Branch deflected it away. Yeah, you would have won that throw low, hard. The receiver could have caught it then. Straight ahead, Kevin Falk. And Falk to about the 45-yard line of the Indianapolis Colts in the final seconds of the first quarter. There's a pattern. Passing situation. Gee, on defense, look for the draws. That's the end of the first 15 minutes of play here in Gillette Stadium with our score. The Patriots 7 and the Colts nothing. We're coming back to Foxborough after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Civic Coupe from Honda. Frustrated with your high wireless bill? Take your number to a better place. Call 1-800-T-MOBILE and get the best value in wireless. And now get T-MOBILE three-day weekends with unlimited calling. T-MOBILE. Get more. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by T-MOBILE. Get more minutes, more features, more service. And by IBM, official information technology partner of the NFL. Monday on an all-new Late Show, Dave welcomes MTV newlyweds Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey. And later this week, don't miss Matthew Broderick, Kristen Davis, and Ashton Kutcher. Dave's all-new Monday right here on CBS. We've changed direction here at Gillette Stadium. The Patriots moving left to right from the 45-yard line of Indianapolis. Third and five. Brady, short drop, throwing outside. Complete to Troy Brown, and that'll be enough for a first down. Tom Brady, last week against Tennessee and starting this game, he is a tremendous short football throwing to the outside. He hits them right in stride. The, the windows to throw it in are so small, but he puts them right on target. He now goes with five wide receivers. Brown, Gibbons, Branch, Johnson, and Ward. Troy Brown inside the 20, diving to the 16-yard line, and another first down. The five wide receivers so far, Indianapolis does not have an answer for it. They're spreading the field. The space is large. Tom Brady, nice job. He looks it off, pumps, and when he does that, that just makes a bigger hole to throw the football into. New England dominating the football. Once again. The heck? Field is spread. I'm sorry. 
I, I was going to say New England, Greg, they're just going the heck with holding the football and worrying about Peyton. Well, let's go out and be aggressive. Ball start. 67. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. That's the center, Dan Copen. One other thing that's very obvious, Dwight Freeney pointed out from the first time they played. Yeah. It's tough to get to the quarterback when it's a short drop or when you get rid of the football in a hurry. A pass rusher like Dwight Freeney almost becomes nullified well, in a game well, like well, that. Go ahead. What kind of mood was he in last night that he was talking about? It? He was a little grumpy he, about it. He was mad. You know, he doesn't give the defensive lineman a chance to even get to the quarterback. Deep drop this time for Brady. Quick pass over the middle to Antoine Smith, and Smith inside the 15 to about the 13. Let me say this about Tom Brady. You can say, oh, he's a winner, all this. He has a good a good NFL arm, a really good NFL arm, good size. But he told us last week how he's changed as a person. He goes, I used to leave the complex around 5 o'clock. He goes, now I'm hanging around, watching extra film. I'm getting treatment. I'm leaving 7, 7.30, and I wanted to go, hey, now you are committed. You are a football player. Your other life, it's over. On the second and seven, Brady has time. Corner of the end zone and overthrows the intended receiver, Deion Branch. Donald Strickland was there with him. But, you know, Greg, it, it, when he told the story to us, I, I smiled because it takes that kind of a commitment. You have to be singleness of mind. You can't think, oh, I got to get home because I want to go out. I'm single. I need some social life. Hey, there's, there's plenty of time for that. Be a football player. Do what you're paid to do. You're going to do it better because you spend all this time. And trust me, he's a lot happier when he's playing well than when he's not. Here's another big third down for the Colt defense. Faking the draw. Brady throws, and it's intercepted. Inside and dropped. Nick Harper had it and dropped it. And Brady and Chad Bratsky going helmet to helmet. Well, a lot of people think that New England's just getting every break in the world. They are getting some. The play action fake. Watch Troy Brown. He reaches around and knocks it out. You create your own breaks. Dwight Freeney on the outside makes Brady step up. Plenty of room to throw the football. Adam Vinatieri from 32 yards out. On its way and looks good. 12.44 to play in the first half. New England stretches its lead to 10. This is the guy who fell for the girl. She's not dull. Who has a plan. $200,000. To steal this guy's money. Getting in deep, aren't you? The Big Bounce, rated PG-13, starts Friday, January 30th. Stop. It's okay. It's going to be fine. <laughs> no? AOL 9.0 optimized with top speed technology allows you to web surf up to five times faster than with a standard dial-up connection. Mommy's home. Such a good boy. Life needs quick thinking. Like most families, we wanted an SUV, but ours had to be especially rugged because my husband was brought up by wolves. But he's really not that different than any other guy. You know, he loves to be outdoors, so, so we bought a Honda Pilot. Hey, Dad! And that's been a lifesaver, really. The Pilot, built by Honda. If on one hand you have half the carbs of Bud Light, and on the other, the gold medal winner of the World Beer Cup, then you have a Miller Lite in each hand. Lucky you. Miller Lite. Great taste. Less villain. A Marine's parachute doesn't open. Was it an accident or a murder? NCIS is taking the case. Got something. Catch Navy NCIS, CBS Tuesday. Star Search is back with a brand new twist. This is not your father's Star Search. Past champions return to face off against new challengers. Catch Star Search, CBS Saturday. Brady talking it over on the sideline. Gibbons has a touchdown catch. Vinatieri has a field goal. It's 10-0. Dominique Rhodes deep for the Colts at his own five-yard line. 
and Manning in the offense will get their hands on the football again. Rhodes from the 11, 25, 30, 40, and a fine return across the 41-yard line. 31-yard return. Last time Tom Brady threw an interception was in Indianapolis. Harper was the interceptor. This time, Troy Brown makes sure it doesn't happen again. Nothing in the world is so powerful as an idea whose time has come. Whoa. Digital widescreen high-definition TVs with digital auto-convergence and HD component video inputs, plus high-speed velocity scan modulation. Don't touch. Hey, guys. Check out the game in high def. Now pay no interest for two years or get 10% off all TVs, $2.99 and up. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Best Buy. You'll come back soon? As soon as I can. I'll use my Miles card. I'll use my Miles card. I'm back. With most Miles programs, it takes a long time to earn a free flight. All these years. Oh! You never got a Capital One card? Capital One introduces no hassle rewards. Free flights start at 9,000 miles with no blackout dates. What's in your wallet? Don't ask. A player who makes the team great is more valuable than a great player. Losing yourself in the group for the good of the group, that's teamwork. Out here, there's one simple rule. Winners play on. Losers, they go to the end of the line for hours, maybe days, sometimes forever. Games get bigger, courts get fancier, but the rule remains the same. Winners play on. Monday on CBS, a powerful hurricane leaves devastation in its wake. Now an investigation will reveal that the storm wasn't the only killer. Don't miss CSI Miami Monday at 10, 9 central on CBS. Manning goes to work from his own 41. Play fake. Buys him time. Now on a roll and throws, and it is intercepted. Ty Law picks it off. Back across the 40 to his own 41-yard line. Both interceptions happen the exact same way. Ty Law, five career interceptions now off of Peyton Manning. With its available power stroke diesel and five-speed automatic torque shift transmission, the Ford F-Series Super Duty has the most torque and horsepower of any diesel pickup. Ford F-Series Super Duty. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. coach knows the ability to stay in the game is what counts. So if you want to stay in the game, don't let anything hold you back. Take action to stay in the game. Ask about Levitra. Ask your doctor for free sample is right for you. Levitra, stay in the game. Do what I did. Ask your doctor about Levitra. Levitra works for me. See if it'll work for you. They know how to outwit. It's go time. Outplay. I brought my brain. I'm playing the game. And outlast. This one is mine. Former survivors return. The best of the best. And we save the biggest twists just for them. Survivor All-Stars premieres after the Super Bowl on CBS. 
Peyton Manning had been intercepted only twice in his previous 311 attempts. His last two passes now have been picked off. Just by alert defensive players using their instincts to, to make the interceptions. Antoine Smith. Stiff arms, one tackle, turns the corner, and is out of bounds just across the 45-yard line. Let's go back to the pick. Well, the idea of Peyton Manning has is very good, but what you're going to see, look to your far right. Ty Law comes off of Marvin Harrison because he sees Peyton Manning looking down the field, and he makes a terrific catch. The Patriots, they talk. They want to get Peyton Manning dirty, and when you do that, what they mean by dirty, make him throw off balance, make him move around, because they say when he does, he's not near the efficient thrower when he just stands there. Brady, short one over the middle. That's complete to Fourier, and that'll be enough for a first down to the 48-yard line of the Colts. Peyton Manning against the defense of Bill Belichick. Well, Belichick has come up the winner more often than not. Manning, just one and four, completed 62% of his passes to the 10 touchdowns and seven interceptions. Well, Bill Belichick, he is a terrific coach. He's had some good football teams that have done that to Peyton Manning. Or I should say to the Colts. Brady on the move, throwing, complete, inside the 35-yard line to David Gibbons. Well, all I can tell you is, or say, how good was that? Tom Brady, play action fake, moving the pocket just a little, keep that Colts defensive line, they love to rush the Russia passer, keep them off balance, and a very good route run by the wide receiver. Gibbons fakes, drives the defender way off, and then stops, perfect timing, the ball's in the air, easy catch. Just like that, the Patriots move to the Indy 31. Smith, inside the 30 to about the 29-yard line. Now, you know, this Colts team, they're conservative on defense. Tony Dungy says, I don't get alarmed when we're 10 points down because I know we can come back. We're going to score some points. So do you keep that same thought with your defense? Do you keep playing conservative? Because that right now is not working against this Patriots offense. And I would remind Tony Dungy, this is not your everyday bargain rate defense he's going against. Yeah, you're either. right. Second and eight. Now you're giving advice to Colts. <laughs> Brady on the move again. Going to go down the sideline looking for Gibbons. Batted away. Incomplete. Walt Harris. Stride for stride. Looked back for the football. Found it and knocked it away. Well, you, you said that right. Because by looking back, he prevents the touchdown. Defenders, it's so hard. They're chasing the receivers. I know they can feel it. That Uh-oh. Here it comes. But Walt Harris at the last second... He reacts to what the receiver does. Perfect timing and knocks it up in the air. A lot of times, if you're a defender, you get this kind of tip. It results in an interception. Third and eight. And another big third down for the Colts defense. Brady steps up, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for Branch coming across the middle. But Greg, you said it, third and eight. They got another third long situation. Can they get off the field? They've had a hard time doing it. And now Bill Belichick is deciding either to kick it, then they're going to go for it again. Wow. Wow is right. That's, that's confidence in your offense and looking to truly dictate and set the tempo. Well, he, he's going, okay, it's snowy, it's nasty, the field's wet. It would be a 47-yard field goal. He, I don't blame him. It's not that hard of a call. Go for it. Play clock winding down to one. He got the snap off in time. Brady. Under pressure. Throws. Got his man. Inside the 15-yard line complete to Troy Brown. So many times in the previous meeting between these teams, on third and long, Brady was able to complete passes just far enough for the first down. Tony Dungy thinks it's a push-off. Usually against this, the receiver goes down the middle, but this time he fakes down the middle and breaks out. Watch Troy Brown faking down the middle. He breaks out wide open. Tony Dungy says they pushed off. It does not look like it. Watch Troy Brown. Oh, 
excellent route. Very good feet. Good timing again from Tom Brady. Smith and Sutter's in the backfield. Antoine Smith right side and busts his way inside the 10-yard line. Greg, in the NFL, the receiver like Troy Brown in that last play, when they line up that like that and they see a defense that spreads and splits, they usually run right down the middle. The defender knows it, and that's what Nick Harper was playing for. So when Troy Brown changed it, that's why he was wide open. Very good game plan, good route, good execution. Second and six. Brady and the Patriots need the four-yard line for a first down. Antoine Smith right side to about the seven. As I watch this Patriots offense today, I think back to last week, the Tennessee Titans. What did Keith Bullock say to us? He goes, oh, we got this, we know this, we got all this. He goes, well, it doesn't matter. When you get in the game, they always do the opposite. So that's what they do. They're game planners. They think you might throw a five-yard out. The Patriots say, we know you're going to look for that. So they change the play. They do something off of that. How the Patriots have performed today on third and fourth down. It's a third and four. Brady looks right, looks back left, throws over the middle and falls short. Troy Brown in the back of the end zone. And on fourth down, here comes Adam Vinatieri in the field goal unit. Well, Tony Dungy's got he got what he wanted the last two third downs. They stopped him. Of course, they went forward on fourth, but this was a big stop for this Colts football team and the defense. For Vinatieri, this will be a 25-yard field goal attempt. is on the way and it's good 806 to play three more on the board for the patriots who lead at 13 nothing peyton manning goes back to work after this come on baby first down earnhardt yeah coach you're in who got it who got it Next, tell walkie talkies, get it done. Right now, there's $350 billion in tax cuts out there. It's like this big, freshly baked pie. And our job at HR Block is to get you the biggest slice possible. So I dig in to find you every tax break you're entitled to. There's a bigger child tax credit, a larger deduction for married couples, lots of new stuff. The only question is how big a slice do you want? Get the maximum refund or it's free. Another advantage of H&R Block. There are three simple words to describe Ford Explorer. First, most, best. First in class with independent rear suspension. Most third row passenger room. And the most trusted SUV 11 years running. Ford Explorer, the best selling SUV in America, period. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Sony. H&R Block and H&R Block Financial Advisors. And by Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL and Super Bowl 38. Nanook of the North is on hand here today. Well, all right, what would you call? I, I just say, I was just thinking one thing. I'd like to see you put that on. <laughs> I'd like to see you put it on, too. Military to kick again. Dominique Rhodes is deep. And out of the snow, Rhodes from the three yard line. And brought down at the 20. Flying tackle made by Sean Mayer, the rookie out of Penn State. Peyton Manning trying to get something accomplished on offense right after this. So we're all set for Hawaii. Flight, hotel. 
Hey, look, we can book surfing lessons. I've always wanted to try that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Perfect. Really? You're a natural. <laughs> Or we can go horseback riding. Okay. Activities. Another way Expedia helps you create the trip that's right for you. Expedia.com. Mom, Dad, this is Paolo. He's an exchange student. Would you like something to drink? See. Wow, look at that. It's the Vega Theater. Amazing. It's a Grand Vega TV with a Vega engine. Of course. DVD dream system with progressive scan and digital surround sound. Fantastico. Lemonade? Introducing the affordable Vega Theater. From Sony. So just when I'm thinking, isn't there a car out there I could get excited about? Wham! There's this car with all this stuff. Then as I'm thinking, now here's a car I could see myself in. Wham! There's this other car with all this stuff. And just as I'm thinking, how could this possibly get me sweeter? The all-new Mazda 3 and Mazda 3 five-door. So soft. Rethink what's possible. A super spectacle starring Janet Jackson. The AOL Top Speed Super Bowl 38 halftime show produced by MTV. February 1st only on CBS. Hey, the gang's all here. Jim, Dan, Dion, and Boomer coming up on the Nextel Halftime Report. A complete recap of our first half and a preview of the NFC Championship game between the Panthers and the Eagles all coming up on the Nextel Halftime Report. Jim was looking a little bit like Indiana Jones today. Nice look. A little cross between Indiana Jones and Bat Masterson from the 20-yard line. Steal that half. Edron James, not much there, maybe a yard. Willie McGinnis with a stop. Well, we talked about some of the things that this New England Patriots team wants to do to Peyton Manning. They want to make him move and throw off balance. They're convinced that the one weakness he has, he's not a, a real good off-balance thrower. And twice today, he has been in that position, and two times he has thrown an interception. Manning's numbers on the day. Second and nine in stark contrast to what he's accomplished so far in this postseason. And we get a penalty. to get back his confidence but you also want to start moving the football to get rid of some of that confidence of this New England defense because of the two turnovers second and 14 Manning with time this time throws outside and that is complete to Brandon Stokely across the 20 to about the 22 yard line Brandon Stokely missing practice earlier this week to be with his wife and one month old son hospitalized with meningitis returned only when he was assured by doctors that there was improvement third and eight no touchdowns and two turnovers in two possessions for the Colts with time over the middle and that's complete number 87 is Reggie Wayne and it's enough for a first down I tell you it takes deep beliefs confident in your ability and a quarterback that's had tremendous success in his career Peyton Manning after two interceptions not phased just rips it right into the heart of the defense throws it into Reggie Wayne nice view if you're the quarterback nobody in his line of sight and he makes a perfect throw First down. On the ground, Edron James. And not much there. You know, it's interesting. You talk about the kind of career he's had. Most of the talk this week, you would think that 
Peyton Manning just learned how to throw the football and just learned how to operate an offense, there are people who make it sound as if he is just now coming into his own when he has put up terrific numbers over the last several years. Greg, he's on pace to break every single record in passing as a quarterback in the National Football League. But in this day and age, in all sports, if you don't win the championship, if you're not spectacular in the big moment, you're not going to get your due. Down goes Manning. At the 25-yard line, Jarvis Green, number 97. You know why that there's not a lot of stars in this New England football team? Jarvis Green just beats Rick DeMolling is because so many different players make plays. Every week, it's somebody out of nowhere. Dan Klecko makes a few. Jarvis Green, not even a starter, he makes plays. So it's hard to focus your attention on one group of players. Third and long yardage. Wayne shakes one tackle, shakes another, and is brought down at the 35-yard line. Rodney Harrison with the stop, and lo and behold, here comes Hunter Smith to kick for the first time in the postseason. You don't, you don't think he's heard many jokes about this, do you? <laughs> all I know is Hunter Smith has been on the sideline collecting all kinds of money for just holding for Mike Vanderjet's kicks the last two weeks. Snapping it through his hands. And he kicks it out of the end zone for the safety. Well, the wet football. We've seen a couple instances where it's got away from the quarterbacks. And this time it gets away from the Colts long snapper. Good job by Hunter Smith. Just give up the two points and get the football out of play. You know, that's not easy to do sometimes to kick that football. Well, he is the kicker. Illegally kicking the ball on the kicking team number 17. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a safety. Justin Snow was the long snapper, and he did just that. New England gets the football back after this. Some like beers don't taste like anything. Next time, try a great tasting, less filling Miller Lite. Good call. Introducing Subway's new Atkins Friendly Wraps. Like the savory chicken bacon ranch wrap and the turkey and bacon melt wrap. Packed with all the delicious taste you'd expect from Subway, but with under 11 net carbs, they'll help you satisfy your low-carb goals. As for your other goals, like avoiding your in-laws indefinitely, well, there you're on your own. The new Atkins Friendly Wraps from Subway. Good, so you don't always have to be. It's all here on CBS. The most watched new drama. The most watched new show. The most watched reality show. The most watched news magazine. The show with more 2003 Emmys than any other series. And the most watched show on television. Old habits die hard. We know you have a lot of choices. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Subway. Good so you don't always have to be. Subway, eat fresh. And by Miller, 
There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The snow continues to fall here at Foxborough. The free kick coming up. New England will get the football back. Troy Brown from his own 25. To the 40 yard line. Four oh three to play here in the first half. New England with a 15 to nothing lead. Doesn't get anywhere. Josh Williams with the stop. And we were talking to some of the players on Friday after practice, and we, we, we asked them some questions about Bill Belichick, and they said he just came in Wednesday, said, okay, we won, but guys, we've won 13 in a row. But if we play the same way this week, it will be over. We must play better on both sides of the ball as a football team to have a chance to move on to the Super Bowl. And you've seen this game today. Both sides, offense and defense, they're much crisper. They're making things, they're executing better, and that's why they lead 15 to nothing. Loss of two on the play, second and 12. And there's a move up front. And the markers fly. Looked like Tom Ashworth, number 68, the right tackle. So we'll repeat first down and you know Tom Brady also said and the coaches put together some clips for us This is how we want to play. This is how no, we no. don't want to play yeah, You know how you don't want to play you always hope you're not in those highlights But it just says a lot about Bill Belichick. He's not a fiery speech giver. It's Pretty plain the message is clear the players get it. They dig it and they make it work That's the far side and that is complete and Bethel Johnson. And there's a loose football. Colts say they have it. But what do the officials say? They do. The Colts converge to the football that time. And that's what you got to do against short passes. You have to hustle to the football, have the first guy hold him up, and then the second and third guys that come in, you got to deliver blows, hard hits that make the receiver fumble. And that time, that was a terrific job by Nick Harper. He makes the original hit, hangs in there, and knocks the football out before his other defenders get there. So now, the Colts take over. At about the 41-yard line of the New England Patriots. The crowd wants Bill Belichick to throw the red flag that the receiver was down. I don't think he was. Manning. Throwing. That's complete. And inside the 35-yard line is Dominique Rhodes. Well, let's go back to that play, that fumble. Well, let's look at it. Bethel Johnson, does his knee hit the ground before the football comes loose? No, it does not. So that's why Bill Belichick did not throw the flag. And all the other people in our booth, they were wrong, too. <laughs> Second and two. Manning, Edron James trying the right side and doesn't get it. I mentioned to you during the last time out, we had yet to see the stretch play from the Colts. That's the first one of the day. Now you know why they have not been running it. It takes too long against a defense that's way too disciplined. You cannot get outside when it takes that long against the Patriots. That will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play here in Gillette Stadium. 15-0 Patriots. And the Colts looking to break the shutout. The praise that Mazda 6 has received for applying sports car engineering to a sedan will appeal to all sorts of people. For the safety conscious, the highest government safety rating. Zoom, 
For the consumer-minded, the highest-rated midsize sedan among owners, and 50 international awards. For the speed readers, the Mazda 6. Lease a new 2004 Mazda 6i for $219 a month for 48 months with $25.19 due at lease signing. The open child entered a world of critics and doubters. A closed world is a better world, they said. The barriers are there for your protection. But others knew better. They embraced the child, nurtured him, watched him grow until the day he was ready. Cracked cranium, $10 copay. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Bruised cornea, $10 copay. Dislocated jaw, fractured wrist, mild concussion, $10 copay. No hurt feelings. I'm poisoned. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Accepted by optometrists, neurologists, and orthopedists. 24 years ago, a child became the victim of a mysterious crime. This is where Tim died. Now, Detective Lily Rush faces her most emotional case ever. Barnes were Catholics, right? Talk to the priest. Confession is protected by both church and state law. Even if that person killed an eight-year-old boy? Even if. Cold Case, new episode, CBS Tonight. Just a reminder, the next Tell Halftime Report coming your way. Jim, Dan, Dion, and Boomer recap the first half and a preview of the NFC title game between the Panthers and the Eagles. On the next Tell Halftime Report, Boomer doing double duty, doing radio up here. Yeah, he just, he just, well, he just wants all the money. Third and four. Manning. Throwing over the middle into a crowd, and it's complete to the 25-yard line to Marcus Pollard. What a catch by Marcus Pollard. And Peyton Manning just throws it between two or three defenders. And Marcus Pollard, very good concentration, not being sidetracked by the people running at him to make the tackle. First down. Manning on the run. Slides down close to the 20-yard line. They're going to spot it at the 21. We are under a minute and a half to play. When they only rush four and they drop everybody back in coverage, Peyton Manning has to know two things. He probably will have extra time, and there will be big lanes to step up into. On the quick slant, that pass is complete. Lost the football. Recovered by New England. Marvin Harrison had it and lost it. Tyrone, Tyrone Poole covered it. Well, we've talked about it in this game. They want to punish the receivers when they come across the middle on those short routes. And that hit was a good example of it. Perfect throw. Peyton Manning puts it right on target. And Rodney Harrison, one interception and one big hit that causes a fumble. Look how quick Marvin Harrison is. He's got a first down. Rodney Harrison hits the football, causes the fumble. And again, Rodney Harrison sees the play, uses his instincts, and comes up to the exact spot you need to be to make the big hit. Peyton Manning's reaction to Tyrone Poole, who spent three seasons with these Colts, and has found a home here in New England. Antoine Smith, right side. And we're under a minute to play for the first half. Now, I was going to say, if the Indianapolis Colts, if they had three timeouts, you would start using them right away. But they only have two. So it changes how you approach the situation. Patriots have all three of theirs, but appear to be in no hurry as we approach the half-minute mark. Well, big games are won by big stars, but they also can be lost by them. Peyton Manning's two interceptions, Marvin Harrison's fumble, they are the big difference in this game. Patriots have intercepted two passes here today as Antoine Smith tries the left side. Two interceptions by the Patriots. The Colts have dropped an interception and fumble it over. And now we get a timeout with 12 seconds to play. 12 seconds to play in the first half. We'll break away and come back after this. 
Super Spectacle starring Janet Jackson. The AOL Top Speed Super Bowl 38 Halftime Show produced by MTV. February 1st only on CBS. You'll never see Joe Montana and Peyton Manning in a shootout, but you will see Rupert the Gentle Giant. Last time was practice. This time is for real. Take on Richard, the original Survivor. I set the standard for Survivor. Plus, all your favorites return. Ah! Survivor All-Stars premieres right after the Super Bowl, only on CBS. It has not been the typical postseason performance today that the Colts have enjoyed leading up to this game this afternoon. Manning has been sacked a couple of penalties. Well it's like you said Greg I think you said it well the conditions the environment and the team they're facing it's different. Third and two. Brady keeps it and that will well, let's see the clock is stopped again. Stopped at eight seconds it's enough for a first down. Or we're going to measure for it. Are you sure? No. We'll give you one more guess. <laughs> Looks like Tom Brady got it. I, I tell you, little things. Tom Brady, you watch this game, and, and you, if you are an ex quarterback, you, he goes on quick snap counts when they just have a normal running play up inside. He sometimes goes on a long count to make the defense play its hand. And especially when he's going to have that quarterback sneak on, he goes up, tries to do it quick before the defense gets ready. And look what he's done. Peyton Manning, rough first half because of the two interceptions. A very unmanning-like passer rating so far here in the first half. And this will be the final snap. These Colts have been known for their comebacks Monday night against Tampa Bay against these same Patriots at the tail end of November. They came from 21 points down. They find themselves down 15 as they go to the locker room. New England 15, Indy nothing. Bonnie Bernstein is with Coach Tony Dungy. No turnovers the first two playoff games, three today. What's New England's defense done to get you off balance? Well, just we've just done things we don't normally do. We've fumbled it and thrown interceptions, and that's going to make it tough. It feels a little sloppy, but uh, we got to fight our way back in the second half. Yeah. All right, Bonnie, thank you. That is the end of our first half with the score. New England 15 and the Colts nothing. We're back with the next tell halftime report coming your way after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Who was your favorite teacher? Ms. Jones, 12th grade, guidance counselor. They're the best of the best. Former survivors compete in the ultimate survivor showdown. I've got beauty, brains, and a hot bod, but that's just the beginning. Oh, yeah. Survivor All-Stars premieres after the Super Bowl on CBS. The greatest come to play. The Grammys live CBS Sunday, February 8th. The rodeo separates the men from the boys and the trucks from the toys in the Texas Auto Riders 2004 Truck Rodeo, where more than 50 trucks competed and the all-new Ford F-150 earned highest honors, the right to be called the Truck of Texas. Just out of the gates and already setting sales records, you can drive the Truck of Texas today with super low 0% financing. Just grab, hold, cinch up, and ride. Ford is the best in Texas. Hanging with my boys, no one to bother us. Lady Luck's on my side, I'm about to take the fellas for a ride. A little bluff here and a few white lies. You do what you got to to take home the prize. Suckers. Looking for a sure thing? Hurry into McDonald's for two quarter pounder with cheese sandwiches or two bacon egg and cheese biscuits for just $2.22.
Texans love to pile it on. Dodge piles it on, too, with the most powerful line of pickups in Texas, like the Lone Star Ram. Decked out with a 345-horsepower available Hemi, huge 20-inch wheels, and more. Grab one with zero plus, 0% zero financing, plus up to $3,500 in values, plus our 770 powertrain limited warranty. And your Texas Dodge dealer will be loading you up with the best values in America. For Super Bowl news, weather, and traffic, log on to KHOU.com. CBS Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Sponsored by Nextel, nationwide walkie-talkie. Welcome back here to Foxborough, folks. What a first half by the Patriots. Totally dominating this one. It really feels like it could have been a whole lot worse than 15-0 here at the intermission. Hello again, friends. Jim Nance, welcome to the Nextel Halftime Report. Joined by Dan Dion and Boomer. I want to remind you guys that Hunter Smith still has not punted in the playoffs, but this time for the wrong reasons. What about those miscues in the first half? First of all, you're in a big game like this. You can't turn it over. Peyton Manning is feeling some pressure. Sliding out of the pocket, not stepping up. That ball was late. Then you get the long snap over there. They didn't punt for two weeks, and obviously there was a problem with that. And he kicks it out. He ends up for safety. Then another turnover. The defensive secondary in New England is playing a lot of zone, but they're coming up and attacking and making hard hits on the receivers. When you take Peyton Manning's main man away, which is Marvin Harris, you can't eliminate this offense. I tell you what, this is called Gilligan's Island right here. Ty Law is telling you to one foot back, chin strap loose. He's giving you old prime time. One on one, we on the out together, baby. He's going to jam him and force him out of bounds. You don't do Marvin Harrison like this. Now he's on the second play. He's going to give him a whole nother look. This, I'm going to give you the man-to-man -man look, but I'm actually playing zone. I'm going to get my hands on the receiver, get him off his route. One 1,000, one, two 1,000. Get my back to the sideline so I can break either way and watch what happens. Ty Law comes up and makes the play. He's taken away Marvin Harrison from Peyton Manning. Well, I think the respect that Bill Belichick has for Peyton Manning played itself out earlier in the game. A couple fourth and, and shorts, and he went for it as opposed to punting the football. And Tom Brady has absolutely been on fire with the exception of one mistake that he almost made. Troy Brown saved him. But he is so cool, so poised in the pocket, throwing the ball so effectively in bad weather. And his receivers are making plays down the field for him. And let's give a lot of credit to left tackle Matt Light. Is Dwight Freeney playing in this game? I haven't I seen him. I haven't, I haven't seen, him. seen him. But I'll tell you one thing. It's about this home field advantage. These fans are absolutely behind their defense when they get on this field. It is explosion city out here for the New England Great fans. By the way, the first time they played this year, New England led by 14 at halftime. Of course, Cindy got back into that one, 15 the margin right now. Also, later today, the Carolina Panthers seeking to claw their way into their first ever Super Bowl visit. The Philadelphia Eagles, who've come up short in the last two NFC Championship games. Leslie Visser, live in Philadelphia with more. And uh, Leslie, what's the story there? Is the weather turning in Philly? It is, Jim. It's starting to let up. By the way, I was just thinking Jim Nance and the Patriots. That has a familiar ring. <laughs> but you're right about the rain has let up here. They're starting to take the tarp off the field. The field will be is a combination of grass and turf, so it could be a little bit sloppy. Uh, guard Kevin Donnelly was out here a little while ago. He was shooting a video. He said to me, offensive linemen love this. The messier, the better. Well, his quarterback is one laid-back Cajun. Jake DeLome told me he is in now watching the game. He's rooting for his old college teammate, Brandon Stokely. As for his current teammate, Stephen Davis, he was out here a little while ago to look at the field. He's been receiving treatment round the clock, including inhaling oxygen to accelerate the, speeding pro the healing process. He said he knows that he is going to give it a go against that uh, forgiving Eagle run defense. But as Brian Dawkins said to me, okay, we give up yards, not points. Jim? All right, I like the old Jim Nance, the old running back here in New England. You get the pick now, Philly, Carolina. Well, it's like New England going against Peyton Manning. It's like Carolina going against Donovan McNabb. I love the defensive line of Carolina. I love what John Fox has done there. And Jake DeLome is everybody's fantasy boy. I'm going with the Carolina Panthers. Oh, okay. Big boomer. All right. Guys, I'm taking Philadelphia. I think the third time this will be it for them. I just think it's Donovan McNabb's year. I'm taking the Eagles. Well, I talked about it in the pregame show. I think that the front four of the Carolina Panthers are going to be able to control Donovan McNabb. they got a 
keep him in the pocket, find a way for him not to get the big plays running the football. If they can limit him to maybe 50 yards rushing instead of the big game like he had last week, that the Carolina Panthers will win, and I'm taking Carolina. Wow. Uh, only because two of you guys took Carolina, I'm going to take Philadelphia. <laughs> only because I really want it. I'm going to take Philadelphia there because I think you cannot stop McNabb. He's been there before. He's going to make plays with, us with his arm as well as his feet. I still love you, man. <laughs> there you go. Second half coming up. Patriots have won their last 23 with a halftime lead. Thanks for watching the next halftime report. Back to Greg and Phil in just a moment on CBS. CBS Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Sponsored by Nextel, nationwide walkie-talkie. It looks like Tiger's laying up. It's too loud, Lanny. It looks like Tiger's laying up. Still too loud. It looks like Tiger's laying up. Still too loud. Monday. It's time to remodel the kitchen. This thing is old. Easy. She's standing right there. Everybody loves Raymond. Then CBS congratulates two and a half men, the People's Choice winner for favorite new comedy. I need you to be my eyes and ears, but you have to be my liver and prostate. Two and a half men after Raymond, CBS Monday. What if Joe Namath never made the guarantee? Namath goes into Super Bowl three with nothing to prove. Without that extra fire in their bellies, the Jets lose to the Baltimore Colts. So the NFL solidifies itself as the far superior league and decides not to merge with the AFL. And the Super Bowl, as we know it, comes to an end. Which means this never happens. Neither does this, 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 that, or this. That's how important the guarantee was. That's how important the Super Bowl is. So you think Parcells is going to take him to the playoffs? Yeah, Parcells is going to take him to the playoffs. In 2008. We're going 13 and 3. Worst case scenario, 12 and 4. Tom Brady? It's not that good a quarterback. The road to the Super Bowl is coming through Cleveland, baby. Buccaneers stay healthy, they'll run the table. I'm gonna go get a taco. All right, 11 and 5. Shocky gets hit by a bus. CBS Sports presents the Nextel Halftime Report. Sponsored by Nextel, nationwide walkie-talkie. We're at halftime in Foxborough, Massachusetts, the AFC Championship game. New England is leading it by a score of 15 to nothing. It has been Peyton Manning mistakes and Tom Brady being able to click against the Colt defense. 15 nothing. The winner gets a trip to Super Bowl 38. We're coming back to Gillette Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Catch Super Bowl 38 on CBS. It's all here. Something sweeping across Texas, and it's going to change our landscape forever. Introducing the newest vehicles from the most complete lineup on the road today. The all-new Colorado, Malibu, Aveo, and Malibu Max. The revolution has begun. See your Texas Chevy dealer. Chevy drive in Texas. Flat. Sometimes small businesses hate the word flat. As in, sales are flat. Other times, they love it. As in, one flat rate for all your calls. And savings that are flat out shocking. Introducing SBC Unlimited Long Distance for Business. Unlimited nationwide long distance for a flat $20. Seeing small business differently. SBC. 37. 37. 38. Hello, 37. 39. 40. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. Daddy, why does the deli man hate you? Introducing two freshly made sandwiches from Jack, an ultimate club stacked with oven roasted turkey, hickory smoked ham, and mouth watering bacon, and a roasted turkey sandwich with zesty herb mayo sauce, both on toasted hearth baked rolls. Psst, dude, can you score me some coleslaw? It was fast. We made it faster. It was smart. We made it smarter. Until it was as close to perfect as it's ever come. And that's saying something. Introducing the new, more powerful ES-330. 
at your Houston area Lexus dealer. KHOU.com, your online source for everything Super Bowl. Foxborough, 15 points on the board. They all belong to the Patriots. 15 nothing. Greg Gumbel along with Phil Sims. Bill Belichick said against Peyton Manning, he wanted to disrupt the passing game. He wanted to keep Edron James from getting outside, and he didn't want his defense to fall for any of the misdirection plays. He's been very successful doing that. Well, they did. They, their defense played, New England's defense played extremely well. They carried out the orders of the coach perfectly. But when I look at the first half, I go back to the first drive on your own 44. You go for it on fourth and one because you want to set the tempo of the game. You want to be in charge and you want to slow down the Indianapolis Colts. You do that by scoring first. Let's take a look at the halftime numbers in the first half that really was dominated by the New England Patriots. Look at the total yards, the passing yards, the running game, the total plays, and of course the three turnovers by the Patriots or by the uh, Colts were huge. Now Indianapolis gets a chance at the ball right off the bat here in the second half. Dominique Rhodes, number 33, looking for the good return. Vinatieri to kick. Dominique Rhodes on the run from the 15-yard line. 25, still on his feet and down the side. Almost to midfield. And Peyton Manning will get terrific field position as we check in with Armin Katayan. Armin. Thanks, Greg. Well, with the Patriots' permission, I was again able to listen in at the locker room, and Bill Belichick, very strong, said, listen, we've been in this position before. They exploded on us in Indianapolis. We have to stay with our game plan, be physical, and most importantly, take care of the football. And some great words from offensive coordinator Charlie Weiss. He said, listen, we have to give them no reason for hope. We have to end all doubt here in the third quarter and keep piling up the points, Greg. Armin, thank you. First down close to midfield I think those coaches got Armin fired up Manning for Edron James James across midfield to the 45 yard line in the first half a little rougher than Peyton Manning usually has it 8 out of 12 Edron James 7 carries for 35 yards and the leading receiver was Marcus Pollard with 2 catches for 42 yards Greg, you said in the first half, this Colts team, they've come back many times this season. They had two scoring opportunities in the first half. They turned it over both times. Edron James looking for first down yardage. Appears to come up just a little bit short, and it'll be third and short yardage in the first half. The Colts, interceptions, turn the ball over on downs, and then the fumble by Marvin Harrison. Third and short. They break the huddle. Lipinski and Edger and James are in the backfield. Double tight end setup. Play fake. Manning throwing it wide open and he underthrew his intended receiver, Marcus Pollard. Manning signaling to the sideline saying, keep the punter over there. We want to go for it. They had the New England Patriots. Marcus Pollard is going to sneak out, go across the field. Everybody bit on the play action fake. Why they ran their play in a situation like that? Because they knew they were going to go for it on fourth down. Play clock is at 15, and the Colts with a rare huddle on fourth down. Again, James and Lipinski in the backfield. Edron James gets the first down as he busts his way inside the 40 yard line. Well, when they played the last time, Greg, everybody, even if you're not a football fan, saw how the Colts lost the game on the one-yard line. They couldn't get it in four tries. Well, today they're ready for those situations because they put the fullback in the backfield. Tom Lipinski, he gets a good block on the outside. Let's Edron James pick up a couple tough yards. Manning on first down now, and the give is to James, trying to turn the corner on the outside. 
and is knocked out of bounds. Rodney Harrison coming over. The last meeting between these games, talk about an explosion, and Tom Brady told us, I contributed to it. He threw two interceptions. The Colts scored 21 points in just under six minutes to pull into a tie. Well, we were there. That's why you got to know between all the games, that game, they came from behind in Buffalo. They did it the last game of the year against the Houston Texans. The Monday night game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This offense has a lot of talent. Hard to hold it down the whole day. Man, out on the flat, Dominique Grove puts on a move, has first down yardage is inside the 30 to about the 26-yard line, and it's a first down. Mike Vrabel there to make the stop. Greg, this Dominique Rhodes, now you get him the football out in the open field. He is, I think he's faster than Edron James and a little more explosive in situations like this. You can see it. He's got the speed. Give him a chance, and he'll make a long play against you. So here are the Colts knocking at the door. This side. Oh, what a block. Rhodes still on his feet and diving close to the 15-yard line. Little different tactic by this Colts offense. Peyton Manning told us last night, hey, you're not going to believe this. We got two backs in the backfield. And watch what happens. Lupinski comes to the outside. Watch him against Willie McGinnis. Down to the ground. That allows Edron James to go to the outside. Look at Dominique Rhodes with the first oh, down yardage. And now James is back into the lineup along with Lipinski in the backfield. Indianapolis, four and a half yards per attempt on the ground. Play fade. Manning on the move, looking, throws, incomplete on the sideline, trying to hit James, and it bounced off of James out of bounds. Well, good play selection. Running the football, they come with the play action. New England not full. Pressure the quarterback makes it makes it an incomplete pass because of those factors. You know, talking about that play, the goal line stand against the uh, uh, backup in New England, and we talked to Ted Washington. Ted Washington didn't want to talk about the goal line stand. We never should have been in that situation to begin with. James the lone back. He gets the handoff finds running room, bounces off the tackler, still on his feet, and rolls his way down. Rodney Harrison making the stop. It's inside the 10-yard line. Well, Edron James, Dominique Rhodes, the blocking up inside. Toupe Pico gets a good block on the outside, and Edron James just running hard. Ted Bruschi, middle linebacker, nobody blocks him, does not come up with the tackle. Third and three from about the eight. James again has the first down. And James to about the three, maybe the two, it'll be first and goal. Hey, look, if you're playing defense for New England, these situations, it has to fool you. Romeo Cornell said, I don't, what are they doing running the football? because I'm sitting up here watching coverage, Greg. You've got to be thinking the same thing. I know the fans are. So the Patriots defense caught off guard by Tom Moore's play calling so far here in the second half. It's an offense that makes its living throwing the football, and here's Edger and James moving the ball down the field. First and goal. James and Lipinski in the backfield. That's Lipinski in motion. Play fake. Throwing, incomplete. That was Lipinski out of the backfield. It'll be second and goal. Lipinski caught a touchdown pass against the Kansas City Chiefs coming in this direction last week. Same play, different formation. Instead of going right, they went left. But New England sees this type of play almost every single week against some of their competition. Not only did they pressure Peyton Manning, they covered Lipinski out of the backfield. Manning's numbers. James and Lipinski again behind Manning. James trying to pick his way. Touchdown. Edron James found the end zone. 
patient running, waited for his blocks, and scored. I don't see how he even got into the end zone. It was, you'd look, the, the Patriots look like they push the Colts into the backfield, nowhere to go. He stays right on the edge of Tom Lipinski and gets in for the touchdown. Good running and another good block by the fullback, Tom Lipinski. Man, here's a guy that struggled to make the football team, and Peyton Manning said it to us last night, Greg. He has fought his way into the lineup because every time he gets a chance, he's making plays. Edron James had 35 yards rushing in the first half. He had 32 on the ground on that drive. Mike Vanderjack has not missed a kick all year. He doesn't miss that one. 9.44 to play, third quarter. The Colts jump right back into the fray. The Patriots, 15, Indianapolis, 7. Back with the Indy kickoff after this. Nobody does it like Southwest Airlines. We always have low fares, even at the last minute. You are now free to move about the country. No, 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 wrong. Mayday, mayday. Not a good time. Exactly, I not a good time. I said it, I don't like it. My client? How bad? What is with the marble? Very, very bad. People don't listen. Too many trees. You're doing the smile thing. This is a joke, right? Doing it now. Relax, you're under budget. We're under budget? We're under budget? We're under budget. I love it. He loves it. Oh. Coast to coast, walkie-talkies get it done. Next tell. Enjoy your new Durango. <gasps> Look, it's got a DVD. And see how smooth the ride is for you and Fluffy. Hey. Liz, what are you doing to him? I'm just showing little Joey the new Durango. Son, there's only one thing you need to know. Hemi. Can you say Hemi? Hemi. That's my boy. The all-new Dodge Durango. Big size, smooth ride. Hemi Power. Starting under 26.6. Libby Parsons was convicted of murdering her husband. Now she's out to prove he was alive all along. Where's my son? Ashley Judd, Tommy Lee Jones, Double Jeopardy, CBS Tonight. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Edron James carried the load on that last drive, accounting for 32 of the 52 yards, 12 plays, and it's a 15 to 7 New England lead. Vanderjet ready to kick. This one's short, very short. From about the 22 yard line, it's Patrick Pass. Pass cuts it back out across the 40, and a fine return out to about the 43 yard line. And now it's Brady and the Patriots with terrific field position when we continue. Sunday, Sunday, see Big Eddie Hall trees and his fuel and jacket, Hemi Dodge Ram 1500. Sunday, Sunday, Big Eddie picks up stuff in his 345 horsepower Hemi Dodge Ram. Sunday, Sunday, go on fishing in a Hemi powered Ram. On an eight. Monday, Monday. <clears throat> you gotta stop. The barbershop is back in business. Something wrong with R. Kelly, man. Y'all see the tape? I think it was set up. He set up the camera. <laughs> Ice Cube, Cedric the Entertainer, Sean Patrick Thomas, Eve, and a special appearance by Queen Latifah. Look at that front. What you been doing? Is sweeping up the shop with it? <laughs> barbershop, back in business. You know, one day this whole shop's all gonna be yours. <laughs> Ready PG-13. Starts Friday, February 6th. Leon, what's the matter, you hurt? Oh, I think so, coach. That last play, I think I hurt my psyche. Your psyche? Yeah, when I dropped the ball and all the fans booed, it hurt my feelings pretty bad. It's gonna be difficult for me to get back out there again today. Leon just might need a little, uh, Leon time to kind of sort some things out. Leon time? Yeah. Well, maybe a nice cup of herbal tea, it makes you feel better. Herbal tea? Maybe, coach. So should I get him the tea? 
NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Friendly nonstop service all across the country. Southwest Airlines, a symbol of freedom. Dodge, you can take life as it comes or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. And by Nextel Coast to Coast Walkie Talkie. Nextel, done. Hey, tonight, don't miss television's most watched new drama, Cold Case. 24 years ago, a child became the victim of a mysterious crime, and now Detective Lily Rush faces her most emotional case ever. A new episode of Cold Case tonight at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Brady to throw on first down out into the flat, and that is complete to Larry Centers. Centers has a first down and more inside the 30-yard line, first down New England. Larry Centers, the number one all-time receiver among running backs in NFL history. Well, I think that's somebody you'd want to keep an eye on, the play-action fake, and the defense just disintegrates. Everybody chases the tight end down the field, and Fourier, who had about three defenders covering, gets a good block to let Larry Sinners get more yards. Wow. Brady's longest completion of the day, 28 yards. He'll throw it again, this side, and that's complete. Troy Brown, Brown inside the 15-yard line, another first down. Again, this Patriots team, Tom Brady, they are very good throwing the football short and towards the sidelines. And not only are they good at throwing and catching it, Troy Brown inside going to break out. Good footing, but once he catches it, without even breaking stride, right at the sideline to get the extra yards. 46 yards and two completions. Brady, with time, now throws and incomplete in the end zone. Kind of threw it away. Well, It'll he, be second and ten. I'm sorry, he must not have had a good grip on the football because both receivers that time he was looking at were, wide, were open. He chose not to throw it. Snow continues to fall. The winner of this game will await the winner of the NFC Championship game, Carolina and Philadelphia, to determine the combatants in Super Bowl 38 two weeks from today. Brady again. Again has time, and he throws this side. It is incomplete. And Deion Branch, the intended receiver. Yeah, Deion Branch. David Macklin was on the coverage. He gave up the touchdown throw earlier in the game, but he has been playing better than any other defensive back for the Indianapolis Colts over the last six or seven weeks. Had tight coverage that time. Third and ten. In third and long, New England 0 for 2. Brady throwing over the middle. That's complete. Kevin Falk, a couple of yards shy of a first down, and let's see what Belichick decides. Tom, Field goal unit. Tom Brady knowing the situation. It's third and long. The Colts defense drops back. They're not going to let you throw it into the end zone. They almost pick up the first down, but Dwight Free, number 93, Tight ends on him, then he gets double teamed by a defensive lineman. That's one of the reasons why you don't hear his name in this game. Vinatieri will try this one from 22 yards out. And play clock winding down now, five to four to three. The crowd knows it. And there's the penalty mark. Yeah, really being calm, don't rush it. Take the five-yard penalty. Play. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. And Dan Copen was a little late getting on the field. That's why they could not get the playoff in time. But an impressive drive by the Patriots, starting with the questionable kickoff, I thought, by the Indianapolis Colts, giving them good field position. A couple of plays gets them in field goal range. Well, Colts have not been stellar in kickoff coverage this year. They've allowed three long ones. 
So now a 27-yard attempt from Vinatieri. High snap. The place down is up, and it is good. Not by a lot, but by enough to give the Patriots an 18-7 lead.